Hello and welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. We're in Psalm 119, reading today verse 75. And Father, we ask that you would sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, 75. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. <clears throat> How do you respond during hard times? How do you respond when something bad happens to you? Because, you know, that is a very simple and honest definition of chastisement. The Bible says that whom the Lord loves, he chastens. And if you're never chastened, then you're not children of God. So he chastens his children. What is chastening? Anything in your life that you don't like. And how we respond to that chastening will determine whether it will be used by God to bring about its purpose, which is always to make us more like Christ, or whether it will be wasted. If we respond to God's chastening by complaining or blaming someone or focusing on the human element in the problem, we're wasting it. If we use the bad stuff, if we allow it to drive us to our knees, to draw closer to God, then it will accomplish its purpose. God talks about chastening, and sometimes he has to step it up. And when he does, it's called scourging. Chastening is trouble. It is unpleasantness. It is bad. Scourging is much more severe. It is an intense, painful, or stressful situation that seems maybe to come out of nowhere, and it blindsides you, and it hits hard. The writer responded the correct way. I know O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. So when you are chastened, or when you are scourged, something severe, really painful, really stressful, is your first reaction to fall on your knees, to repent of all sins, to ask God to show you if there's anything that you've done wrong? To worship him and to use that as an opportunity to draw closer to him and to say that he is right and faithful to allow it like the writer did? If that's how you respond, God will use that chastening to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. But remember, when God allows trouble in our life, we may not always know all the reasons for it. And it doesn't matter. The Bible teaches that it's always the right thing for us. The fact that we can't figure out the reason for our troubles is neither here nor there. God is using them to accomplish something or wants to use them to accomplish something. We must believe that. We must trust him. God is never wrong. God is never unloving. God is never uncaring in what he allows into our life. Trouble is often God's way of pulling our reins to get us to change something, to change something that will benefit us in the eternal long run. So do not despise the chastening of the Lord. Respond as the psalmist did by saying, Lord, I know that your judgments are right. You always allow the best thing. You always allow, you know what you're doing. And in your faithfulness, you have afflicted me. For more of God's word, go to the Bible, verse by verse dot com.